Welcome back to Raven Creek, where we're trying to steal from his Hammerites. Now that's the main temple, and I think the other side felt like it might be easier to break into. Never mind the uh, patches of light. I thought I was seeing another snake there, but no, it was a, uh, a grass stems or something. Be someone there? Hmm. There's nothing there now. Ah, this is their cemetery. Very brightly lit cemetery. Which is awkward for me, of course. But I'm trying to stay hidden. I put a lot of flowers on the graves. I didn't know the hammerheads were into flowers that much. Hmm. Oh, he's coming in. Okay, he comes in a little way. I was wondering, is either of these maybe holding a secret? Good, you know, it'd be a good place to hide a secret passage. That well, doesn't seem to be, so let's head out. Let's see, bro. Oh. See if we. I was gonna say, see if we can't find a way into the uh, pla the proper place, but we can uh, see what we can find in this bell tower. That's, I guess, all we're gonna find in here. Little ledge makes it hard to jump just before you hit the edge because you have a tiny window when running. Oh well. Designing designing levels for movement is I guess a skill that isn't really taught much and people mostly don't observe the patterns, I suppose. Cause this isn't the first time by a by a long way that you've heard me complain about uh, places not being designed to move around in with, you know, odd hitches and details that uh, make it hard. All right. Well, that guy's not coming back right away. I thought he might be. Flash bomb, beautiful. A doll. Well, let's uh, <laughs> drop it. Can we get down quietly? Please, go. Is somebody coming up here? Oh, how am I brightly lit here? Oh, that damn torch. No, they're walking around downstairs, but they don't seem to be coming up here. That's good news for me. Okay. What have we got here? Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct. Volume 108. Mortar cannot hold when the stone is not strong and clean. Before beginning thy endeavors, look to thy material, both physical and spiritual. Oh, 
Because there's coins. <laughs> Sorry, accident. I bumped the space bell when I wasn't planning to. Gas arrow. I'm a compendium of precepts, regimens, and rules of conduct, volume 94. Guard thy tongue from falsehood as thou guardest thy purse from a jack blade. Guard thy hand from misdeed as thou guardest thy house from firelighters. Guard thy heart from doubt as thou guardest thy tools from corrosion. For thy faith and thy tools are the best that thou hast. Stock volumes, unfortunately. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I much prefer when authors write their own additions to the compendium. It's a fun, fun thing to have. Okay, let's see where this guy goes. Oh! The monk! Don't expect to see a round cowled hammerite? Without even a hammer? Now brown cow. Mines. Oh, is there any way to actually hide in shadow here? Yes. Just so I know what to where where to expect him. He's gonna he's gonna get upset seeing the banner torn and I kinda wanna be out of the way while he while he manages that process. Oh shit. There we are. It's not a very good dark patch. I suppose I could put the torch out. No he didn't seem to mind the banner. I feel like I've got very few water arrows. I don't really want to waste one on this guy. More food. Maps, books, nothing. Drinks. Oh, hello. I think that's all in there. Oh. I seem to have got some people upset. Wow. Got somebody very upset. It's just target practice, man. Didn't think it'd be that loud or that controversial. <laughs> that's inconvenient for me because I need to go through that door on the right and I think that's where our angry friend was. Makes sense that they would keep them there. Okay. Is my arrow even my arrow's gone even. Fair enough. Take your eyes off her for one second and it just runs off. He is upset. He's another monk. Then fight me, villain. The builder's wall shall not shelter thee long from righteous wrath. The snake shows himself. Cease thy hiding and die like a man. Come forth and fight me, villain. 
Oh, well, maybe I use my flash bomb on them. It's probably the quickest way to do this. Ow, and on myself. I was trying to look away when I dropped it, but I did it entirely wrong. You know what? You guys can go locked in the storeroom. Actually, no, I'll throw you under the stairs where, just in case anybody else comes running, you won't get spotted. <clears throat> There, take that, wretched, wretched hammer man. Yeah, what a waste of my very few broadheads. <laughs> Another dead rat, huh? Yeah, it's not even gonna comment this time. <sighs> so much detail, so much nothing. Lots of garlic. Hunting, uh, pixel hunting for the objects which are interactive. I don't know. Not my, not my preferred approach to the design. It's a very nice cabinet, but I do appreciate that there is actually stuff hidden in it that is worth looking for. But um. I don't know, it's just... I guess I like I like the, norm, the the default thief thing where most objects are actually interactive, very few are not. And uh, what that means is you can look at a room, you can look from across a room and kind of get a sense of, well, I need to get that looked over there, I need to get that looked over there. You don't need to run up to everything to find out if it's going to be lookable or not. Hmm, this case seems to be difficult. In the course of time we have cleaned several crypts, but we always knew what upset the dead. Here we don't even know how many dead are restless. What's the matter with this crypt? High Priest Marwin assured us that nobody disturbed the dead's peace, but as far as we know the dead never leave their tombs without any reason after hundreds of years. We believe that he's keeping something secret from us, but principally that Priest Peter is suspect. I'm sure that he knows more than he admits. I hope that our ritual will calm the dead. If not, they will surely attack us at once. I'm not sure if the brethren here will be able to protect us. They are not experienced fighters, because Raven Creek has, Creek has always been such a quiet place. So, Marwin and Peter. Okay. So these two monks were here to uh, deal with the dead problem. Or the undead problem, I suppose. Well, fair enough. You know what, let's put this one out. Yeah, that's a good choice because this guy's coming in. Is that the crypts there? Maybe. I don't know, but. Oh, it's locked. Do I have a key? Did I pick a key from that guy's... I picked got the tower key from that guy's belt. Right. Okay. I mean, this is still part of the graveyard, right? That was... Is that the barricade? That must be the barricade. Hmm. 
stone or flesh. You tear it down and begin anew. Whether they be stone or flesh, you tear them down and begin anew. One striking down. No wonder they have such an undead problem. Like, most of the hammerite dead are probably dead from minor infractions, leading to major punishment. This one I can unpick. Invisibility potion. Oh, getting some good stuff here. Volume 94. Oh, it's the same volume we just read. Right, this is just a lot of volumes of it. I'm not going to bother. Not going to bother. I'm just repeating the stock. I mean, it kind of makes sense that. Uh, you know, I can understand why you'd want to do it from a. Uh, well, these are the hammerites. Everybody, you know, the hammerites always collect all these volumes, but from a. From a world building point of view, it makes sense, but from a player perspective, it's just like, why did you put this in my way to interact with? What a misfortune! What an ordeal the builder has imposed upon us! It is a terrible visitation. Suddenly and without any reason, there are undead walking through our crypt. We've never had any incidents like that down there before, and all at once it is haunted. I tried to find out why this has happened, but didn't find any clues as to why the dead have become so angry. Alas, I don't even know whose ghosts walk down in the crypt, because at first appearance all coffins and urns seem to be intact. Nevertheless, my brethren and I had to flee at once, because the undead attacked us as soon as they noticed us. Brother Matthias was badly hurt, but we rescued ourselves and closed the doors behind us. I was able to lock the doors with a spell, so that the doors remained closed. I own the only key for the crypt doors, and I wear it all the time. I asked for help from the monastery of my now. They sent me two monks with many years' experience in dealing with undead, and who hopefully will be able to help us to calm those restless ghosts. They arrived a week ago and are now working in the laboratory on some mixtures which they need to clean up the crypt. They told me that they want to fulfil a kind of ritual action which is supposed to set an end to the spooky goings on. Let's hope that they will succeed and we will be able to access the tomb soon without any danger. I hope I'll be able to survive long enough because my advanced age is causing more and more trouble. Uh, something, something knows, but this mountain has some healing powers and has kept me in the best of health all the years when I was High Priest of Raven Creek. I pray to the Builder that this spooky episode will come to an end soon. High Priest Marwyn. Something like the Builder alone knows, but uh, what's this fountain? He's got a, is there a healing fountain? Am I getting the bed? <laughs> No, I'm doing that. Why does that sound like wood? And did anybody get suspicious of that? Of the banging noises. Oh, hello. It's not a switch, but it is not terrible. <laughs> to find some lost coins and give them a new purpose in life, a new home. New sense of joy at having something to do beyond sitting in a dark, dusty corner mouldering away. <laughs> you might ask how I know what a coin thinks about. But that would be a story I cannot tell you right now. Well, maybe it's just coincidence and there isn't a secret here because I'm not finding a switch. If there is one... Oh, there's a key. No, it's not. It looks vaguely like a key, it's just a pattern in the texture of the wood. There was a key tucked under the bed. Right? That's not a key. Let's zoom in from here. This is not a key. I don't think. It's just like a knot hole. Yeah, there it is again. Just that angle, it looked like a key sitting under the bed. All right. Well. We got here. I'd like to know what those two monks are doing down there in the laboratory. They rarely leave it and even sleep there. Mixtures to clean the crypt. And no outsider may know about it. 
But the greatest impertinence is that they sent me out to look for ingredients. What an effrontery. Am I the run around? Wait until I'm high priest in Raven Creek. Then things will change radically. Priest Peter. Uh, hemorrhoid compendium. Oh, Peter's got a key hidden under his bed. A crypt key. Wait, why does Peter have the crypt key? See, that one's not making a wood sound. So that makes me all the more suspicious of this other one again. Let me just double check that it's not the bed making the noise. Okay, it was the bed making the noise. The wooden noise. <laughs> yeah. Is that the crypt? It might be. I imagine both those doors are the crypt. Right, yes. Okay. Not spooky at all. Good thing I've got all this garlic protecting me from vampires. Oh. You're not a vampire though. You don't seem to be bothered by garlic. Do you mind carrots? Are carrots a problem for you? Because if carrots are a problem for you, then I have some very good news. <sighs> and by good news, I mean 117 pieces of good news. Just make sure we have the key, the doors unlocked, so I can come and go when I need to. All these empty coffins, they must be preparing for a lot more dead. Okay, he's given up. He's still somewhat upset, but. Let's see where he patrols down here, because I need to go get that golden thing, but... I don't have any moss. So he goes how far? Just there, okay. as a goodbye, shortly. Maybe not. Dang it, Garrett. You seem to have managed not to 
alert everyone this time. Somehow. Don't mind me. Good. You give me a fright there. Look at the particle effects on that water, that's awesome. There's no way to hide in here. I suppose. Just barely there's somewhere to hide. He doesn't come here to the fountain, does he? No, he's making a strange noise. Definitely does not look like ordinary water to me. It's very good particle effects, one of the best I've seen, in fact, and Thief. It's, he does come to the fountain. I guess I need to investigate it, but I want to make sure he's clear and won't be seeing me investigating it. Hmm. I don't know what it means, but it means something. It sounds like it means something not good, but honestly, who knows. Okay, now I need to follow him out of here. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, alright. We're going out, boys. We're going, we're going out. Enough cryptic, uh, thievery. Round, around, around we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Help! 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 No, just throw anything. No, anything. <laughs> well, I can go fight the hammerites. I don't know who's winning. Well, some of the ghosts are winning. Well, it's it's pretty evenly matched, I guess. Dead and undead hammerites. Oh! I think the live ones won. Why are they so worried about those crypts then? I mean, I guess several of them died there, but... Kind of, I guess, makes sense that then. Is a, that is a live hammerite, right? Yes. Why are you coming this way? 
Well, no, und I mean, okay, yes, all the undead came from here, but... <laughs> He's still just chilling, his friend is still just chilling, they, they calm down pretty quickly. Honestly surprising. I guess that means I can just run back into the crypt. I think he saw me. Oh, there's somebody still here. Who was the one who didn't? Oh, this guy. Didn't join the fun, okay. That's alright, we can have we can have him hanging around. Guess I should probably just not bother. Wait, is he the one? He was that one. So he's just guarding some loot. Oh, that's a nicely hidden gold piece of gold hammer. Hmm. Diving helmets? We found uh, the tomb of the big daddies. Hmm. It's all in German. What if I don't want to join you though? It's a longer path that way than I thought, okay. Alright, because he comes up here. Okay. So that's all the question is, do I want to leave this guy outside as well for some extra fun? Why not? Come on, mate. I've got some friends to introduce you to. Some fun friends. one. Let's draw some attention. <gasps> oh, he's fighting someone else. Oh, he got, he got down by somebody else. Okay. Oh, you're a very good, very efficient Undead killer there. Oh, 
Right, I shall cease my trickery. Well, I think that's everything from the crypt, right? But wait, is there any other place to go here? Rumors about the Hammer Priest, get some information, the temple has valuable golden artifacts. This is... I guess I use it, use it or lose it. Why is the bell ringing just now? For an emergency maybe? Sort out the riffraff. Well, actually, you know what? Oh, you're unconscious. Oh, oh wait. You're you're the one I just knocked out with the gas out Well, you're you a corpse. Did I get? No, you're. Our... Oh. oh. I just thought. Uh... So you? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you died. In... Noble battle. Why is there a second? I've got this one. I don't know, but you know what? Let's uh, clean up here. Okay. Now for the front door. Is it locked? see somebody who would not be happy to see me. Myself, uh, that's a shadow. It's the good news is this is quiet floor. Didst thou see anything? There? Tis the builder's piece now. <clears throat> so Peter also had a crypt key. That's secret, I guess. Is that thee? It is. Who did thou wish it to be? Nothing to see now. I'll have to check that door out. But... <clears throat> also see if there's anything down this way. Somebody dropped some coins. Oh, it's a book. I saw something on the pew here, but it's just a book. Probably volume 32 of the Hammerite Compendium. Now it's volume 94 again. They have a lot of copies of volume 94. Nay. They trick the, like, the trickster that gave them to you. I think that's the way you should say it. Also a tower key, okay. So we've got this way up to the tower. Is that also the same? I do want to go check it out in case there's anything at the ground level, but... Just wait till he's gone by. Ah, oh, no ladder in this one. Alright. Up we go. <laughs> it's quiet floor. The ladder keeps going up a bit, but all is well now. Twas but the wind on the torches. Ah. Artifact of the Hammerites. 
Okay. Who's Mr. Nell, actually? That's a good question. I don't remember seeing anything we've been right around this place. Hmm, and where are we gonna find information about the Hammerite priests? Would have thought it'd be the monks or the priests' bedrooms themselves, but we did check out both of those and found nothing. I wonder if there's anything up there. I had a rope arrow. It might be something I could investigate. Alas, I do not have any rope arrows. I mean, there's. Oh, there was a ladder. I'm just, I'm just blind. It's just in the corner. It's like there's, there's a ledge there, and then oh yeah, there is a ladder there. Too. Fine. Valuable. All right, we're getting close to our loot goal. Admittedly, it's not <clears throat> the most visible of ladders. Nor the most reliable in other ways. Okay, well. Mm hmm. See, some of our food might heal us up a little. Well, we can't start on the couch just yet. Unless we've exhausted all the other food. There you go, smile is good. Garlic. Uh-huh, only carrots left. Well, let's have a carrot or two. There we go. Right, so where is Mrs. Nell in her vast collection? Was she the one with the house? The... The, the home sweet home house? That we ran around? Or is it somebody... Billy is not one of the houses that backs out that's part of the town here. So what are we going to do? Find the vase. Find the rumours about the Hammerite Priest. See, we, we've got to look... We've got to go back and look in the Priest's bedrooms, right? Surely I missed something there? Are you dead or unconscious? Oh, you're dead. Shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh? Vigilance is our shield. Maybe they were hiding something among all these books? It's just very hard to prop the book you're looking at, rather than one other side of it. I'm sure that middle book throbs. That middle one, no, lower one, can I get the lower one? Maybe not, I don't know. Right, blah blah, that's not information about the priests. I mean, the other thing is the monks might have information on them, but we also searched the monks' quarters. We can go back down and search again. Again, you know, Peter wants to be in charge, which is all very well. I mean, I guess that's fine. <laughs> all right, 
don't see anything untoward. Oh, there's a book here I should have read. I do know why the builder punishes me, punishes me so hard. I always lived and acted severely, following the Hammerites, regiments, and rules of conduct. As I was a young novice, I seemed to have good prospects. I was the best of my age group and was sent to Raven Creek right after my ordination of priests. I'll never forget the words of my former high priest. Go to Raven Creek. There, High Priest Marwyn will teach you much, and soon you'll be High Priest of the local temple yourself, since Marwyn is already well advanced in years. He's 84 years old. He soon will pass the baton of the temple to you. I could lose my patience. That took place 17 years ago! Last year, High Priest Marwyn celebrated his 100th birthday. Since the beginning, I've been his assistant priest. Due to a silly mishap of mine, new perspectives have opened. Seems to be a line missing. All this happened four weeks ago, when my high priest sentenced me to cleanse the crypt. Year after year, it is so humiliating since I'm not his cleaner. However, I was busy brushing the dust off a statue, when I suddenly noticed that one of the statuettes was movable. I heard a noise and saw one of the tombstone slabs moving. To my utter astonishment, I discovered behind it another grave chamber with four coffins. And furthermore, I saw several opulent funerary goods. What a trove! Seems that this chamber hasn't been entered for hundreds of years. According to the inscription, four Hammerite elite soldiers have been buried there. They have been responsible for the security of the temple in the time of construction. Later, many... Hmm. That he would claim it as his own success, and I would come away empty-handed. After all these disappointing years, the temptation was big enough, and I thought to myself, why not take all that stuff and close that chamber again? Nobody would suspect anything, and I could live rich and prosper without being obligated to clean a dark and dusty crypt. Did I become priest to do dirty work like that? But just at the moment I took a piece of gold, I heard a strange grumbling and saw to my horror how those heavy tombstone slabs moved aside. I got into a panic and hastened out of the grave chamber, back to the lever near the statue. I heard scary and terrifying voices. As soon as they reached the lever, I saw the ghosts climbing out of their coffins. I pulled the lever to close the chamber, but that didn't stop the ghosts. I ran out. It was like a prodigy that I made it to reach the court. What luck that none of the brethren noticed my adventure. I tried to calm down and went into the temple, where I hoped to be out of danger. Shortly after that, the high priest, accompanied by Brother Matthias, entered the crypt, where they faced the undead. He closed the doors and banned them with a spell, so that the undead weren't able to leave the crypt. Then he sent for those two strange monks from the monastery of Mainau. Thanks to the builder, nobody came up with the idea that I was the one who was responsible for all that mess. Now, as I have calmed down from that horror, my plans have changed. I'm sick of... Something. Marwan's room when he is asleep and made a wax cast from his crypt key. Then I clandestinely made a copy of it. Tonight I'll open the doors to the crypt in order to elicit the undead out of it. Then I'll pull back into a hideout up there in the bell tower. These undead elite soldiers will roam the streets of the village until my brethren in the city watch will be able to defeat them finally. With a little bit of luck they will kill High Priest on their way so I'll be his successor soon. If he should be spared from being killed it doesn't matter because the citizens will blame him for that cataclysm and defrock him immediately. Well, some innocent people in Raven Creek may bite the dust, but I don't care. All I want is to become High Priest in Raven Creek. There's the information we are looking for. Alright. So, uh, yeah, I guess I didn't really notice the book because, I don't know, there's so many books in this that just look all the same and are not interactive, so... One that was interactive but not really... Vigilance is our shield that protects us from Seeming to be of interest. Attack. Okay. Knowledge so what that tells me is with which we if we head back down. Future. Dude, do you mind? I'm trying to talk here. If we head back down into the crypt. Now that we've got all those undead out of the way, we should be looking for this this lever, right? No. Oh, or or other valuables we've not yet seen. Which also works. Let's make sure the other crypt door is closed. Good. Just in case of the thought of, you know, for making sound by jumping up and down. So beside a statuette, he said. Alright, those are statuettes. They don't seem to have levers beside them. The statuettes. There's the one down there, of course, which we'll check in a minute. There's no more statues here. No, okay. Oop, 
Oops. Just a couple of urns. I would make a joke, but I haven't earned it. What about this statuette? This the one with the lever behind it? Mm, apparently not. So this is this guy's healing fountain, right? Is it actually a healing fountain? I mean... I don't know. How do I take damage? Let's... Uh, can I take damage? Can I get high enough in here to take damage? I mean, I guess I can look for this for the lever some more. I can always go out and get damaged by... Oh, hello. Guess I missed that too. Get damaged by one of the hammerites and... and uh... find some more no oh, it seems like they've already come out of here so he's woken them up and I'm free to take everything they've got oh including fire arrows to help with the killing of them I suppose but uh... say no to a few fire arrows. Definitely not going to say no to a lot of loot. There's a ton of loot here. Bling, bling, bling. <sighs> Enough, in fact, to reach our goal. And a little bit more besides, for good measure. Plus five fire arrows. Well, I mean, there's a way I can hurt myself. To test out that fountain theory. Well... Should we leave that open? The beast will discover it. And they'll at least have an answer as to where the undead came from. That seems fair enough to me. Alright, well okay, now I can test this test this theory. Is it a healing fountain? It is not. Oh, it uh, lights up. Why does it... Why does it light up? <laughs> Odd. It's like it's wanting to be propped with something. Not carrots, probably. The artifact? No. Keys? Surely not. A mine? A doubtful. Huh. A very solid stream of water coming from it. Oh, it is a healing. Well, maybe it was just, maybe it was just healing me there, and I wasn't noticing it. Yeah. Okay. Probably it's just healing me. Okay. And I was just not paying attention. Fine. So it is not just a fountain of youth. It is a fountain of healing as well. Good to know, but I don't need it right now. It's not gold, is it? No, just clay. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squad of the past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Okay, so now I've got to find Mrs. Dowell's house. And a hideout. So, I guess I'm looking for Mrs. Dowell's house. It's surely not there by the barracks, right? I'm going to run back around. Oh, I haven't been up here, have I?
bring in here. <laughs> I mean, this is not worthless coming this way. Sir, was that you? There. Oh, maybe it'll be a quiet shift then. This is it. This is the house. Hmm. I'm starting to see things. I'd better get some rest. Oh, he's walking around the grass. Okay. Rip arrows. Finally. Why couldn't I have kept the ones I had last mission? Okay. Can I rip my way up there though? Doesn't look like it. I guess I can look around and see if there is anywhere I can rope to. You don't have anything on your belt, do you, mate? No. Alright, well, we know where her, where her house is. I can't see any point in ripping up there. Oh, there's this lout going. Who's that? the back. Oh, well, let's leave him in this corner here. Or maybe not there, actually. Maybe here. Okay, that's not openable. And that one's not openable, but you never know, right? I had to ch felt like I had to check. into our house. Uh, with with low frame rate is the answer. I mean that's a watchtower. Rope arrow isn't gonna help there. We can't get behind a house because that's back in town. It feels Confusing, to say the least. I mean, you can, the house is made of wood, I can rope up to the side, but there's no open windows or anything. So I can go look. Unless he's just got a key knocking about somewhere. <sighs> Don't want to have to go look this up, but what else do I do? Maybe there's a key on this ledge. Get the vines. I hear someone inside. Make a bang on the 
door and make noise and get them to open the gate that way. But that seems like a good way to get other attention. Like those guys. I don't have any uh, flash bombs. That was maybe a mistake. does not seem promising to me. Whoever's in there does not seem to be coming out. I don't know, I'm, I don't have any clue how to approach getting into this house. Nothing seems to make, doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. Doesn't seem to be any purpose for my rope arrows. I suppose I did, but you'll be dead soon enough. I'm gonna go look for a hint, but I'm gonna go from before I work those people up. Cause... I mean, it's it's <laughs> fair game as a tactic, but it didn't work. I'll be back. Welcome back to. Apparently there's a basket. Any outside the house that has the key? I don't see a basket. I don't see any kind of hanging basket. Oh, there. I see. Yep. What's there? Just a thief. Identification. I'll find you soon enough. Oh, God. Here, ticky, ticky, ticky. You can either come out quietly or get yourself hurt. If they get looking over that way, that's fine. I'll as long as they don't come you. in here. One peep out of your I'll find you. You see anything recently? I've been seeing some odd things. Someone's been tapping around in here. He's just sitting there, talking to himself. You know what would be funny? If they see me. What's that? Speak. Nothing? Nobody? You got a valuable alarm clock. And a golden cat. And chocolate cakes. Absolutely worth breaking into your house. Regardless of your vast collection. Or lack of. It sounded like a torch going out, didn't it? Now, where's your valuable bars? <coughs> well, if we've got all these water arrows, I guess we can afford to put out some other torches as well. Oh, there's another one right there, okay. 
I mean, why can't they get some decent torches around here? I mean, we've got the money. No, you don't have the money for much longer, ma'am. Oh, there's a spare house key. <coughs> Who are you? Why did you just walk into me? All right. Yes, you're going to be upstairs in your bed. There. Oh, maybe one of them is the valuable one, actually. I didn't even see those. Uh huh. What did that open? What did it open? I don't see anything that's changed. Ah, I see. Aha! Uh -huh. That's the valuable vase. All right. She knows it's precious too. That's why it's hidden away. It's closed up after ourselves. miss anything else in the kitchen? I mean, there's another wicker basket, but I'm not putting that on her head. She doesn't deserve that after I've robbed her of her life savings and her most valuable vase. You know, Garrett has some, some feelings. Oh, it's a ring. I'm trying to get the chocolate cakes. Well, I'll have to settle for, for loot instead of cake. What a terrible ordeal. These guys calm down. It does sound like they have. them to there. <clears throat> to the searching, I guess. Where are we going to go for a hideout, though? Hmm. That's all we're going to do left. Quiet and safe hideout. With... Out this horrendous frame lag. Hammerite place does not count as quite safe hideout. Maybe the sewers? Well, that's all closed off there. I guess we can swim along in the canal and see what we can find. Oh! Dead guys in the canal. How strange. It looks like no, we didn't get a quiet and safe hideout <laughs> like that. What if we go hang around right in Burke Town? Get a quiet and safe hideout that way. Hmm. Oh, there's another canal here, and no I wonder I was a little confused. Oh, a bit of a canal. Nothing in it. I have no idea what would count as a hideout. Just on the repair. Okay, let's go check out that home sweet home house. Maybe that would count. 
Maybe the owner's away. It's just through here, I think. What's that? What's that window? Oh, this is a warehouse, actually. Maybe the warehouse would count? Snake, it's a snake. Hmm, I mean, it's not too quiet with that guy running, walking back and forth. No, I do have a few arrows now. Easy to, to hit. And does this count as a quiet and safe hideout? I guess not. <laughs> you jump in the well does not seem to me like the ideal of a quiet and safe hideout. Um, So where were the other snakes? The big ones. Wait, if I can run in a circle? Oh, the big snakes are there. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a quite safe hideout. Where is the house I was thinking of then? That one? <clears throat> and that loft would be a quite in the safe hideout if we could get in there. Under the bookshelf, bookshop stairs. <coughs> it's not going to be quiet, is it? This is, uh, it's quite enough for a rabbit friend. I'm just having, I'm just guessing. You know, I just have to guess now. Maybe that, maybe that building would count. Mm -hmm. Seems quite unsafe to me. But upstairs in the rabbit. <laughs> Better than everything. Alright, I probably missed some loot there, but uh well yeah, only twenty four hundred of it. No idea where all that's hiding. Absolutely no clue. That's a lot of loot to be missing, and I feel like I've explored pretty much the entire map. But uh, next, we're going to go see Lord Wilson. But that will be in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.